jump right into the third question for today. A uh, 2200 kg truck traveling north at uh, 34 kilometers per hour turns east and accelerates to this many kilometers per hour. What is the change in truck's kinetic energy? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have a truck. Okay, so we have this is the north south east west. So north, south, east, west. Our uh, truck is initially traveling north at 32 kilometers per hour. So initially our truck is traveling north 32 kilometers per hour, which then uh, turns and accelerates. Uh, 249 kilometers per hour and starts traveling east. Okay, the question is asking for the change in truck's kinetic energy. So, this is a fairly straightforward question, and uh, the way we would solve it is uh, using the formula for kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared. It's important to note that uh, I drew this diagram just to for a visual representation, but in, in the actual sense of the question, we don't really mind which direction the truck was going in because kinetic energy, change in kinetic energy is uh, is a scalar quantity. It does not get affected by the direction of motion. So therefore, we can plug in the velocity in this equation as is, and we don't mind if it's a uh, north direction or east direction. So therefore, change in kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial, which is equals to half mv2 square minus half mv1 square. So we basically get E equals to half times 2200 whole multiplied by v2 which is 49 49 square minus 32 square okay so square minus 32 square times 2200 divided by 2 so it's a big number so we would Aha, uh -huh, actually, I just noticed one thing which we do need to do is conversions. So since the unit of energy is in joules, which has the standard units meters per second, we need to convert this as well before we proceed any further. So the conversion is as follows. We go from uh, 32 kilometers per hour one kilometer has 1,000 meters. Oops, it should be the other one. Uh, one, let's write down as this. So one kilometer has 1,000 meters. One hour has 60 minutes and one, minute has 60 seconds. Therefore, this 32 kilometers per hour becomes 32 times 10 divided by 36, uh, 8.88 meters per second. And the other quantity, which was 49 kilometers per hour times uh, 10 over 36 is equals to 13.6 uh, meters per second. Okay, so now we can go back in and our steps were fine. We still need to calculate the change in kinetic energy. However, the units were not. So this would be V2 would be 13.6 square minus 
8 square. Okay, so from that we get 13.6 square minus 8.8 square times 2200 divided by 2. Um, since it's a big number, I am going to divide the final answer by 1000 um, so we can. 118.272 joules or 118.2 kilojoules as the change in kinetic energy. Okay, um, I'm not sure why it is a bit of a difference, but I think that might have to do with them using additional. Uh, Decimal points, I think two decimal, one decimal point is usually fine. Okay, so I would say the answer is correct. Okay, let's go on to the next one.